right. I am finished eating. It was all right what I ate. Now, this is going to be part two. Anybody that didn't, that missed part one, it's still up. It's the video is still up. And a little quick recap. We're just beginning to talk about uh, what to do, the godly steps that you need to take to regain your love bug so that you may have beautiful, close sex, physical intimacy. Now, if the lack of sex in your marriage is due to the wife, Hold on, we're just going to start with the wife. I'm going to flip it up. If the lack of sex in your marriage is due to the wife refusing to give it to you, husband should consider if he is being obedient to God's command and he said to love your wife as what? As Christ loved the church. Or... You have to be very, very understanding. So I break it down. It's this gonna be important if she has feelings of uh, you rejecting her, like pushing her hand away. She uh, get away from me. You know, every time she come back, or uh, uh, if she feel like you stronger than her, like you cut you giants and towering over her, it makes her feel inferior. So rejection and inferiority. I'm gonna call it. That's a big word. I know how to spell it too. Yeah, so either one of those, because most of the time, from my from my what I have seen, <clears throat> the husband he 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 might not have no idea what what she's going through, like her problems, and uh, to him it appears that she like always frustrated, acting out, you know what I'm saying, like acting a fool, but. In, in actuality, she's just frustrated. She don't, she don't just, she ain't just acting frustrated. She is frustrated. Or she might just have, every time you slap her head, like suppressed anger. It, that can happen. You know what I'm saying? Like this shit builds up inside. But women are built different though. So I know men already know that. Just because we can't, we don't take the time to understand. You should just know. You shouldn't assume that women were created different. So you either gonna pay attention, learn, study, make mistakes, and keep learning, or you'll never understand what a woman, the depths of a woman, if you will. So it's gonna take honesty. This is all goes back to communication. It's gonna take honesty. It's gonna take the the one thing you have to slap yourself in the face. But you got to get it done. It's going to take forgiveness. Those are the best ways to address the, the, the issue. But don't do this right here. Do not be lifting up your hand, getting your finger ready to point in somebody in that direction. You cannot play the blame game. That is not going to, that's going to kill the rest of the, the remaining hope that you got. If you pick up your hand and come out, you did this, or you did this. You did it first, but you did it second. That ain't gonna get nowhere at all. You know, so don't do that. Be careful of that. And uh I don't know, it's about y'all godly love. See, we gotta get it. you have to force yourself to stop trying to do things the way you was taught for somebody else. That does not work. The only way, the only proper way to love. It's the godly way. Those the godly way is for everybody who seeks peace in a relationship, peace at home, peace everywhere, and understanding is only the godly way. Nobody cares. Well, actually, <laughs> nobody cares. You only frustrate things trying to force what you was taught, what you have seen on somebody else. It just doesn't work like that. You meet a person. Well, we in marriage now, so well, I guess we would have to go back anyway because a lot of people that's that's married all together even just never met. <laughs> if you can understand that, or it's always one sided. You know, somebody is giving up too much, or the other person is suppressed too much. 
like it, it doesn't work like that, you know. So it's okay to re meet. Like if if you feel anything, you can re meet, but under the under the God godly umbrella, you have to know out of the out of the Word of God the correct way to love. Trust me. I mean, I did it my way, like uh, Frank Sinatra, Wilson, and now some the majority of my time. But now that I'm older, of course, I'm going to be wiser, you know? So I aim to learn. Believe me, I'm not afraid to uh, learn, make a mistake, or any of that. It's just about wh what I want. In this case, it's a who. Who do you want? So if I want somebody, and it takes work, guess what? Sign me up. I'm staying overtime, after school, helping the teacher out, whatever it's going to take if I want somebody. You know, if I want to, if I want. Now, if you don't want, you can keep on living how you how you been living. But it doesn't. It does. It won't affect me. It'll affect you, because we're not going to be together. So it's only if you want is what I'm getting at. Now, if the lack of sex in your marriage is the is due to the husband, what? <laughs> nah, I'm going to say that one for, I'm going to say that one Because that's going to be a doozy And plus my battery could have died I'm going to say that one I remember that Because I know I know women are ready The lack of sex in marriage Is due to the husband review. Okay I'll get back to y'all In part three Because <laughs> I don't want I want these to be sharp And focused That's why I'm keeping them like that So consider this part two Part three Up next Man Y'all be gentle, ladies. Men, y'all don't run it high because it's going to take you to. My name's true.